A Singaporean national who is said to have recruited U.S. officials to provide classified political and defense information to China has been sentenced to 14 months in jail by a U.S. court. That sentence is slightly less than what the prosecutors had been asking for. Dixon Yo could have faced up to 10 years behind bars, but the judge uh, reportedly took into account his cooperation with U.S. authorities and also the threat that he might contract COVID-19 whilst in prison. Our correspondent there, Nick Harper, explains. Here at his sentencing hearing in Washington, D.C., Dixon Yo apologized for his actions, saying that he took full responsibility. He did, however, say that he was still sympathetic to the Chinese cause. Now, back in July, Mr. Yo pleaded guilty to operating as a foreign agent, working here in the United States, but essentially spying for Chinese intelligence. He'd been running a fake consultancy business where he had interacted with people with sensitive, often uh, highly classified, classified information. So he sought out people who worked within the US government, people who worked within the US military, using LinkedIn, the social media job hunting site, to do so. Now as part of his consultancy business that he ran between 2015 and 2019, he offered jobs that didn't exist, getting people to send in his resumes that he then passed on to Chinese intelligence. He also got people with classified information to write reports, paying up to two thousand dollars in the process. He got reports from a State Department official, a Pentagon employee, even an Air Force worker. And of course, all of those reports were being sent on to Chinese intelligence. Uh, they, of course, thought that they were writing these reports as part of a consultancy business that he had billed as bridging the divide between the United States and Asia. Well, he's been sentenced to 14 months in jail. It's slightly less than the 16 months the prosecutors was looking for, uh, slightly more than the 13 months that his defence team had asked for. Taken into account uh, was the fact that he had uh, cooperated with authorities here in the United States. But remember that he has been detained in the US since last November. That's 11 months. So that 14 months that he's been sentenced to is effectively time served. He will only be in jail uh, for another couple of months here in the US. And when he's released, he will be deported. But what's not clear at this stage is whether he will return to Singapore or choose to go somewhere else. Nick Harper, CNA, Washington.